The Eugenics Record Office, which we've sort of loosely recreated or reimagined here, was out in Long Island in Cold Spring Harbor. It was really the premier and in some senses the only dedicated eugenics research institution in the country. Eugenics comes out of uh, European traditions of scientific racism, but as it actually was practiced in its kind of most virulent form was an American science. Eugenics was really obsessed with this idea of normal but it was an extremely rigid definition. Eugenics is the practice of breeding human beings, essentially. It was really defined by ideas of America as an Anglo-American nation, but also other commonly targeted traits had to do with intellectual disability. Collecting data for eugenicists was one of the most important means of giving legitimacy to their work. Next to me here you have what are called the trait file cabinets. These were used to collect information on people divide, and divide them into sort of every type of trait. They've documented physical difference, whether it's hair color, eye color, skin color, shape of the nose racial mixtures. What largely they were engaged in was negative eugenics, and negative eugenics is policies that seek to eliminate people from the breeding pool. The three main ways that they would do that is through um, immigration restriction, uh, sterilization, and uh, institutionalization. And they were really integral in imp implementing um, social policy and, and political legislation based upon eugenics. So recreating the office was about, you know, bringing to life the documents as much as possible and giving a sense that these people who made these documents, who were in the documents, were real people um, who weren't just good or evil. In recreating this space and reproducing those files, their stories are sort of coming back to life and those narratives are sort of haunting us in the present. A lot of the understandings of difference that originated in eugenics, a lot of these sort of hierarchies of humankind continue to linger in the ways that we talk about race, in the ways that we talk about welfare, in the ways we talk about immigration. The language is almost the same um, in terms of talking about America for Americans is something I've seen both today and in the 1924. But broader than that, it's really about questioning who we target in kind of moments of national strife.